in order to evaluate the following logarithmic expression. What I'm going to do is I'm going to match up our logarithmic expression here with our just standard basic logarithmic uh, setup here. So log base b of x is equal to y. This is our conversion between logarithmic and exponential, exponential to logarithmic. The only thing that we're missing here, we have our log base b of our x. Uh, the only thing we're missing here is it being set equal to y. Now, that is what we're solving for for this problem. We're solving for the y, so we can definitely set it equal to y. And what you want to do when you evaluate logarithmic expressions is convert them to exponential. All right, so you want to take this, rewrite it as b to the y. Now, b is your little number here, your base, so that's our 2. Raise to our y here, so we're going to raise it to the y, and this is going to equal to our x here, which is a 1 eighth. Now what you want to do is you want to solve this little problem here that we've created. Now the way that we're going to solve this problem, we're going to use a technique called like basis for exponents here, where we're going to try and get each side of our equation here, 2 to some power, 2 to some power. We want our bases to be the same. Alright, so essentially we either want to turn a 2 into an 8 or an 8 into a 2. But it's easier to turn an 8 into a 2. Now I can easily turn an 8 into a 2 because 8 is 2 to the third power. Right, it calculates to the same thing. Now, I almost have a base of a 2 on each side. The only problem is on the right-hand side, that 2 is in my denominator. I need to move that up to my numerator. And the way that we can do that is using the negative exponent rule. Anytime you have an exponent in the denominator and you want to move it up, you can move it up by changing the sign of your exponent. That's what the negative exponent rule does for us. So using that has changed it to 2 to the third power. And we have a same base rule for exponents that says if your bases are the same, you can set your exponents equal to each other. That tells us y is equal to a negative 3. Right? 2 to the negative third is 1 eighth.